And it's your voice, your vote on KSFY News. The speculation about the Iowa caucuses ends tonight when voters meet up and decide who they think can win the White House in November. On the uh, Democratic side, it's a neck and neck race, Hillary Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders. And then on the Republican side, it appears to be a three-man race between Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, and surging Marco Rubio. And it is possible that tonight's big winners could be Trump and Sanders. KSFY News reporter Brian Allen is in Des Moines and looks at what a win for either of them would mean. For years, people have been saying that Washington might be better run if the people in power weren't part of the establishment. Well, later tonight, Iowans may give their blessing to two candidates who many say are radical in their thinking. One says he's ready to remove federal protections for big banks and take a more active role in controlling climate change. The other says he's ready to throw out the U.S. tax code so middle class Americans can keep more of what they earn. And both say they have the will to do it. So again, it's going to come down to who's got the better ground game as far as um, the ability to churn out caucus goers. Gail Alberta is a political analyst at Drake University in Des Moines and tells me an Iowa win gives Sanders, a Democratic Socialist, legitimacy that will help him next week in New Hampshire. For Sanders, he's identified himself as a socialist, so that will not likely play well in the general election. 60% uh, of American voters are roughly independent, they're moderate, so that might be too far or too much too fast. And if Trump wins Iowa, Alberta says he might be unstoppable, especially if he wins the New Hampshire primary for the twofer. Trump, on the other hand, um, is not an establishment candidate, obviously. Uh, the Republican uh, establishment, is, ha while warming up to him, definitely are having some issues with him as well. Uh, one of the things that would not surprise me is if we have a brokered convention for the Republican side, if in fact he wins. The Iowa caucuses begin later tonight at 7 o'clock statewide. It is the big political test. Who do Iowans believe in and who didn't make the cut? In Des Moines, Brian Allen, KSFY News. And Brian will be there tonight as well. Stay with us on KSFY News tonight for the results of the Iowa caucus, which will include insight from KSFY political analyst Vernon Brown.